107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Things have been uh, pretty interesting since uh, this new season of season three of R&B Divas uh, Atlantic kicked off. Yes. How has the experience been for you thus far? You know what? Reality TV is definitely something totally different than, than, what, you than what I expected. What did you expect? It was, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Okay. But it's definitely something that I dove in head first to. Yeah, yeah. And I said that I was going to be myself no matter what. That's good. Um, I'm really grateful that I'm able to be on this season with these ladies who come from, you know, the same background that, that I come from. And to be able to share my experience um, going through my journey that I'm going through and that I was going through while filming mm. has been wonderful, though, for me. Well, you get a chance to actually be in a circle of uh, ladies that have pretty much like walked a little bit before you mm -hmm. and have delved maybe a little deeper into the game of, of music. Yeah. Um, so that's relatable. Yes. But it's always interesting when you bring um, a whole bunch of uh, professional status ladies around each other to really see how their energy pulls off of each other. Who are you telling? Uh, I'm not <laughs> telling no one. I'm not telling no one because I think you kind of got a good feel of, uh, of everybody so far. And I can't wait for everything to start unfolding even more. Yes, and it definitely is as the season progresses. Um, <laughs> I've been I've been tagged as the sweetheart, um, which is you know it's a title that I I accept very humbly. Okay. But as the season unfolds and as it progresses, you'll <laughs> get to see that um, I, you know, I kind of go against the grain a little bit, oh, and yeah. yes, and I had to put on my my diva hat and 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 put my foot down for some things. Well, you are a Scorpio. I am. And you know what they say about Scorpio? Holler to my Scorpio. Uh, silent killers, baby. You got to watch them. They, they'll, <laughs> they'll move slow on you. And then if you get them cornered in a certain don't, way. Don't don't make me like okay, all the Scorpios. See, everybody <laughs> always have to think that when they think about Scorpios. It's not fair. Don't it's stereotype not fair. me. Okay. Ooh, we're we're going to see as the season progresses. And then, sure I, then I'm going to get a hold of you. Then, Ooh. Okay? then I'm going to get. <laughs> you promise? I promise. <laughs> you are a singer. You're a songwriter. You're an actress. Now you're a reality star. Yes. And you're a mom. I was just about to say, don't forget I'm a mom. No, 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 no. That's of the highest regard. Absolutely. Um, Thank you. I, I know Mother's Day is very, very special to you, even more so now. Yes. How old is your daughter now? My daughter is eight months old. Wow. That is yes. wonderful. Yes, yes. So how is motherhood? Uh, you know, because uh, this is first, right? Yes, my so, first. So um, how is motherhood so far? It's It's wonderful. I can't describe Right. The feelings that I have when I look about my daughter, when I think about my daughter, oh. I just, um, I'm the new spokesperson for Save Our Daughters, oh, really? um, the Yale Moms campaign. And when I saw the flyer with the picture of my daughter now, and it brought tears to my eyes. Wow. Um, it's just wonderful to be able to go speak about motherhood um, because there's nothing that I would do for my daughter. And she's the reason why I wake up. She's the reason why I breathe. That's what's up. And... I never understood. My mom used to always tell me, you know what? You're going to understand when you have yours. Yeah. And now I, I, I see and what my mother was talking about. Because <laughs> you're going to see you really grow up all over again. Yes. She, I'm sure she has a lot of your personality. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Take Don't the wheel, say. Lord. <laughs> now, now you have to have the patience of Job. Yes. As your mama had with you. Yes, right? you do. For sure. For sure. For sure. Well, I'm uh, so happy for you, and I can see that's making you glow even more. Thank you. You know, because you have your daughter. Thank you. And I know how special it is to have that relationship with uh, with, with children. I don't have any children of my own, but really? I have a great relationship with my mom. Wow, know, that's so. awesome. Yes, it's really, awesome. really, really important. Relationships are really, really key and quintessential. Um, do you see yourself on R&B Divas, like, you know, um, from what we've seen so far, because, again, the season has pretty much just begun. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> Who do, what gravitates you, I should say, uh, to bond with people, you know, then maybe, you know, to some people and not other people? Is it, is it the energy? Is it the creativeness? Is it uh, maybe the same similarities of what you guys may have in common? Me in particular, I have my own relationship um, in its own right with all of the divas for gotcha. different reasons. Gotcha. And... Um, I can say I can't speak for any of the other divas. Sure. But um, 
Everything is special. And the one thing that I love about this season is that we are showing that African-American women can get along. We can be supportive of each other right. and we can disagree because we're all different. different women. We're six different women with six different respectable backgrounds, right. six different opinions, six different everythings, you know, but we come together and then we all have our opinions and then, but we, we talk them out and, you know, we get over them, you know, sometimes you got to get there, you got to put your foot down. Some things might not be as easy as others, but I, um, I can appreciate the direction that this season is taken as opposed to the other first two. Um, <laughs> seasons that I've seen right, from this right. show and um, for other reality shows as right. well. No, I, I agree with you 100%. I want to give you a little flashback, just a little flashback <laughs> of how she was back then with uh, <laughs> Kelly Rowland and Beyonce and, if I'm not mistaken, Latoya Luckett, right? Yes. Wow. That's a memory right there. And that's a great memory. It's a great, it's a wonderful memory. For wonderful me. memory. Yes. I tell you, man, this is uh, this, pic this picture is phenomenal. Um, but your guys were beautiful then, and y'all have grown to be beautiful, great, successful women now. Thank you, and thank I, you. I, I implored you. We cannot uh, take away, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen that this lady is has thank been you. a part of the fabric. Thank so you. R&B uh, Divas Atlantis, most, most renowned groups around the way, you have given us over 20 this million. beautiful lady. Uh, wonderful And record. let's get to know her. Let's watch her very, very close. I'm very One of those awards for a Grammy. I think you have them the other Two of them. So I'm watching you. Don't get it twisted, Lenny. Come on now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two Grammys, uh, uh, no Soul Train, and, and, and we'll Ladies definitely make soul. that seat rock. Woo! I just want you to understand <laughs> that. Accomplishment. So I was not being pretty fun. nice today. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that I ain't mean, scared. Are you sure? I ain't scared. So okay, that's good. Truly that's good. I like a lady who has a backbone. So we all want to look like that. <laughs> Whatever happens. So how can we stay in touch with you? Um, People that are rich. Oh, everybody, please follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter, and I am Latavia. I'm going to follow you. You know, it's a question that I... Okay, please do. I get asked quite frequently. Absolutely. Um, um, on Facebook and at backslash uh, to sum it up for it booking, was uh, booking at latavirobson.com and just hit me up on my website at latavirobson.com. Never had anything That's to do up. with And um, I will Beyonce definitely be in contact. I'm giving you the and, official um, quiet storm. You know, it, it, we, you know, we spoke our piece and um, I spoke my piece and I was replaced. Wow. So it's almost like you get reprimanded for speaking your mind. And Absolutely, people tell you to be be who you are, and, and you know, you then when you are, then sometimes you get punished for it. But God has a plan for us all. And no question. I've definitely, I've, I've, I have my memoir, my love letter, and I definitely go way more into de into depth in the about um, my experience, my truth, and my experience in Destiny's Child. How is the relationship with you and the ladies now? It, it, it's great. The last time that I saw Beyonce, it was love, wow. nothing but love. Um, I'm so proud of all of them. I like I call Beyonce my hero for Christ's sakes. Sure. Um, Kelly and I, we've spoken on the phone, and it was nothing but love there. Latoya was at my baby shower. Wow. She came to the hospital after I gave birth to my daughter. I met Michelle. Wow. That was a wonderful meeting. So, you know what? I I just have to say, you know, we we were younger back sure. then. We were kids. Sure. Yeah. We're adults now, and um. It's it's time out for you know a lot of foolishness and I I'm glad to say that I've come from such a wonderful powerhouse in this industry. Yeah, that's very proud to st stand on because you have a, a, a I like to call Destiny's Child uh, definitely one of the newer institutions of music. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you know there were pioneers prior oh, to you. Oh yes, but um, to have you guys come out, you definitely brought back the appreciation of girl groups. And uh, and how wonderful that is. Thank and, you. And it's unfortunate that we don't have a lot today. Yes, but, I know. Um, but hopefully that will be a resurgence at, at yes. some point. I know you were very inspirational for so many young artists that are Thank you. You know, coming out. Maybe so, that'll change. Uh, Maybe I can bring up, uh, you know, the next girl group. Well, you know, that would be nice. And, hey. and that wouldn't surprise me if you did do something like that. I would love to. But what are you still singing as well right now you know i've been on hiatus i haven't been in the music industry for a while okay. um i've been meeting with some producers trying to see you know whether or not i want to get back jump back into this crazy industry you I know understand. a lot of things happen and all that that's one of the things that you'll see on the on the show as well that's one of my um one of the things that happens between the ladies and i don't i'm not sure if i even want to wow. jump in so especially I, after dealing with those divas i, uh, <laughs> I, I just guess. you know i i 
I, I aspire to be, you know, behind the scenes, you know, maybe more writing and producing and maybe managing and stuff like that because I, I love music. Sure. But, yeah, you know, sure. trying to start a career, a to- a brand new career right now, I, you know, it's, it's something that I'm... And plus, you have a greater responsibility through. right now, and that's your daughter. Absolutely. You know, that baby... Look, I still got to feed her, though. I know that's <laughs> right. No, I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> But you know what? By you being a part of R and B Divas, I know so many things will start to blossom and unfold for you. Thank great you. Ways. Thank so you. So R and B Divas Atlantis, this is season three underway. You do not want to miss this beautiful lady, and let's get to know her. Let's watch her very, very close. I'm very curious to see how this Scorpion is definitely going to deal <laughs> with uh, the other ladies. So I, I'm going to be watching you every week. Thank you. And I hope that when you come back to New York, you will find some time in your schedule to sit Oh, I will, no doubt. And we're going to turn it up. We're going to definitely make that seat rock a little harder.